Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with Droid Life, and we're taking one more look at the new Nexus 7, at least a quick look. We just want to compare it quickly to the old or original Nexus 7, just talk about some differences, how it's been upgraded, and then show you sort of the changes in how, how it looks. Uh, the big things though, in terms of specs, you've got 2 gig of RAM here, 1 gig of RAM here. Um, you've also got a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro quad-core processor in the new Nexus 7. You've got that Tegra 3 quad-core processor in the old. So you've got a bump there. That's definitely an improvement. Um, again, 2 gig of RAM. You also have a 5 megapixel camera on the back of this device, and uh, you'll know that there's no rear camera on the original Nexus 7. They both got 1.2 1, 1 megapixel front cameras, I believe. Obviously, they run stock Android. You can get 16 and 32 gigabyte models of the new one, um, but you can also get Wi-Fi or LTE models. So the LTE version is kind of cool. It works on Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile's AT. I'm sorry, LTE bands. So all three of those, same chip in one device. There's not like different models that work on each carrier. So kind of cool. Um, and then the other big thing is the display. Okay, so we've got a 1920 by 1200 seven inch display on the new Nexus 7. It's like 323 pixels per inch. Google's calling it the highest resolution seven inch tablet on the planet, which is kind of cool. Remember in the old one, I believe it's about 1280 by 800, slow 200 pixels per inch. Not a bad display, uh, but quite the improvement here in the new one. So pricing, we're, like two, we're looking at 229 for the 16 gig Wi-Fi, 269 for the 32 gig Wi-Fi, and then 349 for the LTE model, which also has 32 gigs of storage. So that's sort of uh, differences in terms of specs. Let's show you, um, differences in terms of looks so uh, if we go face to face right here you'll see they've really slimmed down the bezel on the right and left side of the new Nexus 7 and what that's allowed it to do is actually make the device at least it appears to me and feels to me thinner when you hold in your hand um, compared to the old one the old one's a little bit wider because it has those thicker bezels on it so they really trim down the bezels you do have a notification light down here on the new Nexus 7 um, again, there's the two front mega front 1.2 megapixel cameras, and uh, that's pretty much it on the front. You don't have this silver lining. Obviously, they've kind of gone with an all black look, almost like the Nexus 10 with the new um, Nexus 7. So let's flip these over gently and show you guys the differences here on the back. So you've got this uh, sort of black matte finish soft touch finish on the new one with the uh, vertical Nexus logo. There's your five megapixel camera. You do have dual speakers. So you've got a speaker down here and you've got another speaker up here. So it should give you stereo sound, should give you a really nice experience when you're playing games or watching movies. And again, it's sort of that soft touch. On the original, remember, no camera on the back. You do have a speaker here, um, Asus logo. It does have the horizontal Nexus logo. It's still got a soft touch though. It's kind of like a faux leather almost. And uh, that's sort of the differences in the back, other than one other thing that drives me nuts about the new one, but may not bother you at all. In the original, we've got a headphone jack on the bottom. In the new one, they've actually gone ahead and moved it right up top, so you can see it right there. So headphone jack now on the top of the device, no longer on the bottom. Not a fan of that, but I know we could argue about that for days. So that's sort of the difference. Um, I will show you if I push these next to each other and line up the bottoms that the new Nexus 7 is definitely taller than the original. Again, since they kind of squished it in and removed side bezel, it sort of made it a longer device. It still feels really good in hand, um, just means it has a little bit more chin and a little bit more forehead. Uh, but that's sort of the difference. If we go down here, you'll see that it is slightly thinner, I believe. I should have the measurements, but you know what? I don't have those handy, but it is gonna be slightly thinner than the original Nexus 7. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll have a full review coming up shortly. Uh, but this is it for now. Enjoy life. Peace.